Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial 180. So let's go ahead, open up Unity, and as you can see, I've taken the uh, meshes that I still have left to do, or at least the textures, and I've left them as character to do. And I didn't do uh, head 8 yet, because it's not what I'm actually going to have uh, selectable for my character when he first starts. And the reason why I didn't do it yet is because uh, it, it takes a different shader to make the eyes glow. And 2 and 3 didn't actually have the same shader. I was using a diffuse. But I've gone ahead and made it the uh, light mapped version just so I can have the glowing eyes on these ones as well. But the ones I did get done are up here under character models, male, whoops, sorry. It's up here under faces. I've gone ahead and moved the skin tones up here as well. Uh, just a bit more organization and here we go we have the faces I have uh, the default material for well basically non glowing eye ones and I've gone ahead and done all the textures now there's six starting textures that I have for my uh, character selection and the ones that the character is or the player is not allowed to pick for uh, from at the beginning Basically, there's going to be NPC ones and maybe certain status effects if they get diseased or something like that. But uh, I started them off at 100. So that really you know, gives me a 100 different options to pick from. And of course, now that I think of it, I really should have started these off at zero. And I'll probably do that off camera later on. That way, that gives me 100 different possibilities for my uh, character faces plus uh, different skin colors. But let's go ahead and start creating a script for it. So I'm going to shrink this down a bit so I can see a little bit more up here. And I'm going to want a button for it. Uh, so just off the top of my head, I'm just going to make another uh, 3D cube. I'll just move this over here. And of course, I want to shrink that down. and it'd be nice to put a little face or something like that on it but I'm not going to right now uh, I just want to get some demonstration done on how to do this and uh, let's start it up I want it around the same height as the head for now so I've got to move it down a bit uh, let's turn off maximize so it was down about here and Looks like I'm going to have to move it over a bit this way. Let me start this back up. I don't want it too close because when you start making your character much bigger. So it needs to be moved up. And I am going to move it over just a bit more. So about here and I'm going to move it out to about here. There we go. Now, it would be nice to put some little icon on there. I don't have any ready, uh, but something to denote that this is what you press to make the head change. But the code itself is going to be pretty similar to what we've used already. Uh, let's go ahead and open up Mono Develop and let's see what I already have. I have the skin tone selector. And honestly, I'm just going to use a, a copy of this. So uh, we'll go ahead and make another script. I'm just going to shrink resources down. We'll come down to scripts. I'll come in, create new C sharp script. And I'm going to call this uh, head changer. Let me try to spell it right. And then I'll just open it up in mono develop and change the name. And make sure I spell it right. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a, well, I guess we'll make it a private constant because it doesn't need to be exposed. And it'll be of type string. And it's going to be called texture path. It's a constant, so text, texture path. And I'm going to call it head texture path. And this is just the path from the resources folder to our uh, head textures. 
I have an error here. That's because I don't have a semicolon there. But let's go ahead and we'll open up resources and we'll take a look. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to take my head changer and throw it on this new cube I put out here. So right here, I'm just going to quickly rename this. Shrink it down. And put the script on it. And now that it's on there, I'll just shrink down my scripts again. Uh, art assets will shrink down to open up resources. So it goes character, faces. Character, faces. And of course, if you have female ones, it will be just like we did before, where you'll have two different paths for uh, different meshes. So just like when we have the ability to change the mesh before. But I'm just going to be working with the males now. So we go human, male. And I'm just interested in the textures right now. Uh, make sure you get that trailing uh, slash. And that looks like I got everything there. And to start off with, I'm going to want some variable to hold um, basically what index I'm on. So. Uh, private int. I'm just going to call it head index. And I'm going to start this off at 1. Actually, I'm going to start it off at 0. And I'm just going to quickly go in and take uh, 6. And I'm going to make it 0. I've just gotten used to counting from 0 to start with. All right, and we don't have to worry about the default skin color because we're going to be pulling that in here. So actually, all we really have to do is just um, take note of when the player clicks, increase the counter. Uh, let me just get rid of these. I won't need these. Uh, increase the head index counter and then just assign it to uh, that function. I'm just going to comment this out and I'll change the debug here. And we'll want to have some sort of um, check here to make sure that we don't go over the maximum amount of values we're allowed to have. And later on, I'll be putting this in some sort of XML file or some sort of external file that will hold the properties that we want for our config file. But for now, we're just going to hard code it. And it looks like the highest we can go to is 5. So that means there's 6 total. So I am going to create another private variable here. And I'm just going to call this um, number of textures. And there's six total, with five being the greatest. So we'll just throw a little if block down here. And we'll just check to see if head index is greater than. I don't like the number of textures now. I just want to, let's just call it, max texture index. And we'll just check here to see if it's greater than max texture index. And if it is, we'll just roll it around. 
So head index is equal to zero. And then after we're done, we'll want to call some function in our player customization model to tell it to change its head. So I'm just going to throw that down here for now. And this will be a public. I'm going to make it static again. Does not return anything. And I'm going to say change character head. And I will pass in an index. And I'm actually just going to call it index. And we'll want some code in here that actually goes and loads up the right one. And of course, that means it'll need to know the path, not this class. So we'll just come throw that in here. And I'm going to put my constants up at the top. So we'll just call player model customization dot and change character head. And we'll just pass in our head index. And just to make sure it's working, we'll just throw a debug out here. And I'm also going to take a static up here. And I'll just call it head index. And start off with, we'll go with zero. So we'll just say head index is equal to the value that's passed in. And we'll just debug out um, head set to index and then whatever our head index is. And don't forget the plus. So we'll just save that off. Uh, let's just fire it up and take a look, even though we're not actually loading anything up yet. I'll clear and let's just click on the head index thing. Whoops, I clicked it a few too many times. We'll start off, with, well, let's just start it off at the beginning again. We'll start it back up. And when I click it, I like to have it cleared. So when I click it, uh, head index zero, head set to index one. So if we take a look here, we get um, the debug log, which is you know the head index, which it starts at, then it increases it, uh, checks to make sure it's not greater than the max texture size, and then sends it in. And then when it gets over here, it tells us what was passed in and what was stored as. So everything looks good there. And if we hit it again, it should just increase. One and two, two and three, three and four, four and five, then five and six, and yeah, we do have that one problem here. The max texture index is actually five now. So now we have all our pieces together for the skin color and the head changer. We have our textures already, and we have a couple functions set up to actually change the actual uh, head of our character. And it looks like we're already over 10 minutes, or over 13. So in the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and implement the code to actually start changing the head according to uh, what color we're set and uh, what uh, character head we have. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.